Hey y'all, it's me, Tashish Nian. Um, in case none of you guys knew how to pronounce it, um, it does mean strength and problem solver. Um, my daddy named me, and I'm like the only one out of my mom and dad's children with a different name. Everybody else is common as can be, but I won't mention their names on here because they may not want to be exposed. <laughs> um, for those of you who know my family, know my family. So. Um, I decided to finally take that jump and make my first video because a lot of people were like, just do it. And I'm like, eh, I don't know. I don't want to be seen. I don't want nobody to know me. Um, that's why I have tents on my car. I don't want to be seen. <laughs> but I like to talk to people. Um, but I'm doing it. And I'm usually the private type. Like I said, I don't want to be seen. Um, but someone used my own advice against me and I'm that type of person I gotta lead by example so I gotta do it anyways um but I was scared I'm like no I don't really want to be all out there like that but um what my advice was is face your fears because the beauty lies behind it and they also told me there's a lot of messages that I say and they feel like others should have the opportunity to hear them too and be guided more towards a um, happier life. If you want to say it that way, <laughs> um, help them throughout life. <clears throat> but I also realized not everybody likes to read, and I'm a writer. I like to write. I'm not really big on speaking unless it's like live analyzations with a talking to somebody who's like feeding off my conversation. I can't really okay i do talk to myself and i do have like my own little things that i talk to myself about and we feed off of each other and sometimes we go back and forth but anyways we're not talking about that right now um but i believe that my messages are should be able to be heard because what if there's some people who just can't read so they said hey make videos and i kept making excuses for myself excuses but then i have people who are like that's that's another excuse nice try so i'm like fine i guess i'm gonna do it um and uh, everybody deserves to have some sort of guidance in their life to help them move forward with difficult times and inspire them and sometimes you just need somebody who understands so and i like to figure shit out <laughs> I was like, what my name means, problem solver. I guess I really live up to my name. Um, please excuse me in advance. Um, because the majority of the time, I do like live analyzation, so I tend to either pause or don't know how to put things into words from my mind. So I probably tend to go in circles sometimes, but I'm gonna work on that, I'm gonna work on it. Um, <clears throat> I also get um, guided messages from my higher power um, and they send me things that can that help me because I use them on the daily to guide my life and to help me in life and I think I should share that with the public whoever needs help or guidance and seeing the brighter side of life um, if you have an issue with it or if you don't find me amusing, then you don't have to watch me. Um, there's gonna be haters in life. There's gonna be people who wanna bring you down, but you know what? I use it. It doesn't bother me. I mean, I'm used to it, but at least I know who I am and I know what I'm here to do. Negative people don't really matter to me. But if I can help someone who needs the help, then so be it. I'm happy to do so. Um, because I just like to see people happier and supportive of each other. And that's exactly what I'm here for. Um, no, I'm not a licensed psychologist. I don't even have a college degree. But that's not stopping me from doing what I want to do or that I'm passionate about. I refuse to let that stop me. Um, I learned through life experiences. A lot of stories I may share in the future are based off of life experiences or I've watched someone else go through life doing it and 
analyzing their life and how things went the way they went so then possibly the next person can relate to understand like hey there's something there and everything happens for a reason and a purpose sometimes you just don't see it in the spot of the moment because sometimes when shit hits us it hurts it hurts and we can only think about the negative but we can train ourselves to think about the positive and to keep going in life um and use it playing our using our lives and playing victim with our lives um, nobody can rescue you but you and i know you guys hear me say that plenty of times nobody can rescue you but you nobody can think for you nobody feels the things you feel i mean well unless you're empathic then you can kind of sense and feel but it's kind of different when you're in the body yourself and thinking the thoughts you're thinking along with the emotions that you feel so a lot of people have to understand that um nobody can just read you all the time like i mean nobody can't i mean scratch that um nobody can save you nobody can change you nobody can fix you but you because it takes that subconscious mind to kick in and to understand yourself um shedding of your ego because that's what a lot of it is too is a lot of the time we just don't want to be embarrassed why are we embarrassed because this and we care about people thinking this or this or this or this we say that now even sometimes i'm saying it right now some people will be like oh that can never happen to me oh i don't think that could ever happen to me but trust me when things can happen to you put you crash of the ego it's gonna hurt you it's gonna make you embarrassed a little bit but it's gonna teach you it's gonna teach you because you don't want to, that to happen again but then at the same time embrace it because it teaches you things that people who haven't gone through it didn't learn because they didn't go through that um But yeah, a lot of the messages I do give is based off of my own experience, analyzations with my own life. Cause honey, I am not perfect. I've probably been, I've been, <laughs> I've probably been, I've been through so much, and I'm sure we, I know we all have. And a lot of people would like to judge the next person, saying, "Oh, but that ain't as bad as mine. That is not as bad as mine. This ain't as bad as mine. Or this, or this, or this, or." Well, people don't understand nobody's the same everybody's got different issues that they deal with internally um in their own mind it may not be big to you but it's probably big to them because everybody has their own ways of feeling things and emotional and things that hurt them their past traumas that affect them today and a lot of people just don't understand they don't understand what that person's been through to feel the way they do so in that case just stop judging people by not being able to handle the same things you can handle because they've been through different shit than you've been through it really makes me angry when people do that but i can do this and i can do this why can't you do it because we're different so the only person who can judge the next person is your higher power your god your Allah, universe, whoever you believe in. Um, I just got a brain freeze. God, what other messages do you have for me? to give out to the public because it's like once the camera goes on my mind goes zoop <laughs> if you feel like you're going through a very hard time right now either financially emotionally either relationships your job and it just feels like a catastrophe. Like it just feels like a complete tower moment in your life where you just don't know what to do. But the only thing you can think about is a negative. You gotta look at it on the bright side. What's a good example? Okay, let's say, um, let's say, you make a living by driving your car. You make a living by driving your car. And let's say you also had time to try to, I mean, 
Okay, you drive your car to make an income. <clears throat> and you just got paid. You knew that you needed some work done on your car. But instead of you're trying to chase the money, trying to get that bag, you know, I mean, hey, you gotta get that bag sometime, you know, you gotta have nice things, you know, someone's got expensive taste. But <laughs> you had the money to do it and you had the job. And let's say the job that you use and you drive your car, I keep going in circles, please forgive me. Let's say all of a sudden you can't drive, let's say you get laid off. Okay, you were dependent on that job. You got laid off, you just got paid, so you have a limited amount of money in your bank account. On top of that, you still gotta get your car fixed and pay your bills, we'll say that. So, instead of thinking about, oh no, I got all my bills to pay, I don't know what I'm gonna do, my car's not fixed, how am I gonna have gas for the week, how am I gonna eat, how am I gonna buy stuff that I need to buy, how am I gonna do this? Instead of getting into that spiral downhill to the point you're self-loathing and then you're depressed and you don't have the energy to function, look at it in a different way. Let's say, let's say God said, you know what? I had to make sure that you weren't driving that car no more because for you to drive your car and what if it broke down? What if he was protect? He was protecting you. Let's say he was protecting you because your car was gonna break down. So in order to wake you up like, hey, go get your car fixed. Let me push this to the side so you can focus because I'm trying to save your life right here. It'd be crazy if you were doing Uber and you had a customer and all of a sudden, that's two problems you'd have to worry about if anybody was to get hurt. So that let's say that's God protecting you, even though you think it's at, a, at like the wrong time and you're stressed out about what's gonna happen. I'm gonna lose my place, I can't my rent, I can't do this. Think of it as a form of protection, which would have been bigger problems on your life rather than that. And that would have been more expenses you would have had to put in versus the money that you already have. So, With that little bit of money that you just got from your paycheck, he said, you know what? Go get your car fixed. And then from there on out, use that, <clears throat> that fuel for the fire to say, you know what? I'm not about to let this happen. I'm about to go out there and I'm gonna go find a way to make sure I get all this taken care of. But first, you need a working vehicle to even get anywhere. So go take care of that and watch. You never know, the universe might step in and say, you know what? Good job. You took care of this. You saw the, what the the warning, the red flag I was trying to give you, the warning sign. Instead of grieving and crying and, and then all of a sudden you're going to spend your money on liquor and getting drunk and crying yourself to sleep at night, wondering somebody to come save you. Instead, you went and put your mind to it and went and fixed it. Never know. All of a sudden, you know what? We kind of like you. We don't want to lay you off. You never know. Sometimes it's like he'll take something away so you can focus on something instead of um, grieving about what was lost. Because when you're grieving about what was lost, there's like a path like, hey, get this done. Because if you're grieving about what you lost, your job or whatever, you're too busy grieving over that to the point you didn't see that your car needed to be fixed. You're not even focused on your car no more. You're like frustrated, confused, crying around, crying around that your car ain't fixed. You ain't got that much money. You need something to settle your emotions, to set it, take, set it you know what I mean, you. Um, that you didn't see that you needed to get your car fixed. And all of a sudden, later down the road, all of a sudden, you're grieving about that, and then your car breaks down on top of that. And then you use all your money on alcohol. Or weed, drugs, whatever the hell you use. Just an example, y'all. So, could you use this as a way of saying, you know what, he's protecting me. Let me see exactly what he's trying to teach me. Let me see which direction the universe is trying to direct me. Like, what are they trying to show me instead of, oh, I lost everything, I don't have it. I don't know what I wanna do, nobody wanna help me. Help yourself. <laughs> <clears throat> so as I was saying, don't look at things that aren't going in your favor as a negative thing. Look at it as a positive thing, as a protection or something to teach you something along your way to get up there to be better. Um, 
to get past certain things that are holding you back from achieving what you want. At the same time, back to that lesson, also teaching you, you know what? It's time for you to start budgeting. You need to budget. You need to watch where you're spending your money. You need to be grateful for the job you have now, regardless of if you like it or not. Be grateful that you have a job. Be grateful that you even have the opportunity to even make some sort of money to make a living because there are some people who just can't get nothing whatsoever. And those are people who wish that they could even have the job you have to even make as much money as you make. Be grateful for what you got and stop wanting more and more and more just to impress the next person. Death to the ego. <laughs> It's like me having to get the tents off my car. Now I'm like, ew, now my car looks ugly. Now I don't even want to be in my car. Now I don't even want to. Ugh. But then at the same time, I'm like, you stupid. You're lucky to even have a car. <laughs> You're lucky to even have something to get you to point A to B to even go to a job. Be grateful. Drop that ego. Who cares about what anybody thinks about you? What you got in your car? What you don't got in your car? What you got on your on your clothes? Or what you don't have on your clothes? What you have in your house? Ex you know what I'm trying to say. Be grateful for what you got. What you got now, even if it's the littlest things. Because imagine if all that was to turn away and be gone. What if you're imagine your BGE being turned off for a whole three months because you couldn't afford it? Be grateful for that energy, and then pay it. Pay your bill. <laughs> pay your bill because once you're grateful that you got that energy you'll be grateful that you got a job be grateful that you got all the things you got in your life because you worked hard to get it but if you're ungrateful and you're looking onto the next best thing sometimes your higher power is going to take things from you to make you be grateful for them that goes with relationships too and it's not about grieving over that that thing that you lost it's learning from it what you don't want to happen to you again something that you learned about yourself something that you learned about that other person, something that you gotta dig deep. It's hard work and I'm saying it is some hard work. So I give props to those who are still studying themselves and continuing to fix themselves and heal themselves and adjust themselves to be a better person in this world, to show the world different. I respect y'all, y'all real warriors for real. Because a lot of people are just lazy and they don't wanna change. So they'd rather change people to live fit for them because Changing yourself is hard work, hard work, but you reap the benefits of it when you do, trust me. It's like training. It's like going to the gym every day that it hurts. It hurts, <laughs> my legs hurt. I feel like a freaking noodle. Mm -mm. But I had those after and it's like, ooh, I'm glad I did. I'm glad I went through that pain. I'm glad I got that strength now. Now I can lift up my laundry detergent when I come in the house and I don't need a man to carry it in for me. <laughs> Cause I can do it myself. Um, but look at your emotions and the things that you go through as a form of training, a form of training to make you stronger, to be able to do more things in your life than what you never thought you could. Because if you didn't have that strength, you couldn't do it. You couldn't do it. It's called growth. Easier said than done. But like I said, in the spar of the moment, sometimes it don't feel good. You don't want to do it. Procrastinate, throw it off. But it's either you do it and you make those changes and put in that effort to do it. Otherwise, God, universe, Allah, spirit higher power whoever you will have <laughs> is gonna come in and do it for you and it's not the best but it's gonna teach you because it's gonna hurt it's like a like a butt whooping it's like if it don't hurt <laughs> you ain't gonna learn you don't want to do it again and it ain't gonna hurt sometimes it may not hurt you physically but emotionally spiritually it's gonna mess you up a little bit to the point where you feel like you're losing your mind but that's because you need to wake up wake up Look at yourself. Look at where you're going. Look at the direction you're going. You gotta. And that's his way of like waking you up. Um, never doubt yourself. 
never doubt yourself. I guess that's the message for the day. Using negative situations as a, in a positive way, in a happy way, in a way where you look at it as a form of protection. You do good, you receive good. You do wrong, you receive wrong. So if you've done wrong and you know, you think you're gonna receive good, just know it's being self-aware. Being self-aware, but at the same time, not doubting yourself. As long as you're being a good person out there and you're not doing anything to harm anyone or do have any wrong intentions or anybody, you'll be all right. You still go through stuff, don't get me wrong, but it's still to teach you more things about yourself that you didn't see yourself. And if you're lucky, you might just have that person who you can trust, who does kind of put you in your spot and tell you about yourself a little bit sometimes because it's healthy without you getting defensive and saying, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not like that. You know, you're just crazy. That's you. Da, 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 da. No, take that step back and think about it. Like, really? But is this, per this person's true intentions? Check their intentions. And sometimes it's like once you have a great person around you who also shows you that in the most respectable way ever, that's a blessing. That's a blessing right there rather than learning shit the hard way. <laughs> so be grateful for the people around you who have that ability that you can trust with kind of telling you about yourself sometimes. A lot of people think like, don't tell me about me. You don't know me. But if you look at some of the things and if you hear somebody repeating it often, take a look at yourself. If it's coming from different people, the same thing, kind of take that step back and reflect on yourself instead of letting your ego take over and thinking that there ain't nothing wrong with you. Because if you're affecting multiple people about the set with the same thing, yeah, check yourself. But also check yourself and reflect to make sure that people don't have wrong intentions to try to change you towards them. So it is hard work. It is definitely hard work. And yes, people get manipulated. And yes, people get hurt. And yes, people lie. Yes, people do this. And it sucks, but just don't be that same person. Don't seek revenge because how are you making anything better by being what they are? Then you know how they made you feel. Yes, it hurts to do good. People say, oh, I did good to that person. I don't want to do good to nobody else no more because when I was good to somebody, this happened. Like that. So what effect are you creating? You're creating a domino effect. Once somebody does something to you, you have to do wrong to everybody else. We have to reverse those cycles and put it the other way. You know what? They did you wrong, but you know what? I'm going to be, I'm not going to be like that. I'm going to be different. You know what? Let them go. They reap their karma. Let God take care of it. I'm protected. I'm good. I just learned something. That's all. Take it as a lesson learned. But don't go seek revenge and don't go do some petty stuff because out of your own anger, because it's going to come right back at you. What goes around definitely comes back around. So if you guys don't believe in that, believe it. <laughs> it's like a test. It's like, okay, let's say if you're 16, 17, 17, 18, 16, 17, 18, I'll say within those three years was like a bunch of karmic events happening where you're basically being sh um, shown yourself. Um, it's either you're creating karma or you were fixing your karma. So it's either, either way, there was some type of karmic activity going on within those three years. And I feel like 2020 is like a year of harvesting. So it's like 2019 was kind of like a, a test, like seeing if you passed your test to graduate into achieving what you wanted out of life. 19 was like to see, okay, all that bad stuff happened to you back in 17, 18, okay, 19. What did you learn? What did you learn from 2017, 18? And what did you fix about yourself in 2019? So then once we go into 2020, you graduate. Graduate in 2020, hey. But you're forever learning about yourself. So don't think that it's like an accomplishment thing where you're completely done because every day you learn something different. But <clears throat> definitely look at that so like let's say if you went into 2019 okay I learned my lessons back then I don't want to be that person no more let me start doing better let me start being who I need to be let me not I don't want no more karmic situations happening to me because that should hurt and I don't want to go through that no more so I want to end that move on let me change my life a little bit let me start doing good so I can reap good so when 2020 come I get those benefits not 
I mean, but don't do things out of expecting things from other people, you know what I mean? Do things from your heart, your heart. Because God sees your heart, your higher power. I'll stop saying that now, but you guys get what I mean. Like we all have our own belief systems. But I'm not gonna force anybody to believe what I believe and I won't believe anything that you force me to believe because I know what I believe because it's a relationship that I have with my higher power. It's all about a relationship. So, end of story. I don't care if this video was not perfect. It was quick, sort of. It was my first video. I probably won't even put no edits to it. I probably won't even do that. But like they say, just do it like Nike. Regardless of what people say, people say, eh, it's not that fun. Do you not have no fun sparkly stuff in the background and letters and gummy bears and just kidding. Um, it's not about being perfect about where you start. It's just starting and learning <laughs> from your first experience riding a bike. This is my first time with my training wheels on this YouTube thing. So, I mean, I'm prepared to fall if I need to fall. I mean, fall, scratch up my knees a little bit, but I'm gonna learn something. I'm gonna learn something and I'm gonna make it better. Love y'all. <laughs>